I think music is more important to people than most of us even realise. We're surrounded by it. We are rhythm ourselves. We've got our heartbeats, our blood flow, our whole, our whole body, the rate of our breathing. We function in a, in a rhythmic way. It's not something that is learned, it's something you already know. Everybody can connect to music. Our primary aim is to make some of the benefits of music therapy as widely accessible as possible to vulnerable children and adults. And we do this by training the people who work with them every day. Words just sometimes aren't possible or aren't relevant. Music goes over all that. Fundamentally, we have a simple training model that we can take into any care setting. It's about going in, giving core skills to staff um, and, and allowing them and empowering them to take it forward and to use these skills throughout. They've just showed us a new way of how it actually can support their areas of development now. So you do sort of think about it a little bit differently. every setting, a member of staff has commented about a child or an adult who they thought they knew well, that they've learnt something new about them. She's normally really, really quiet and shy. She hadn't really said two words from coming out of school. She hasn't seen the guitar before in, in this environment. Wonderful, and she just made that connection. The positive has been that because the staff have seen such changes with the children, they're eager to get it happening again. So it sort of self perpetuates, really. If it wasn't working, we probably wouldn't bother trying to fit it into our day to day. One particular client struggled with, with everything. The music sessions helped her to, to connect. Coming and sitting and doing something as simple as playing an instrument. As daft as it seems, that made her feel like this was her home. I think for staff, it's empowering. I think it um, develops confidence. And I'm not a big fan of doing story time and things like that just within my job, but it's helped my confidence a little bit in that way. Yeah, I do. I feel quite proud of myself. I feel quite proud that I'm able to, you know, always do it. It does sound really simple to suggest that a music session can change the way people care. But I really think it does. It's not about the cleaning and the caring and the feeding anymore. It's about having fun together, about listening to each other. They actually can find a, a much deeper connection and, a, and, a, and, a, and develop a better awareness of that person through sharing these musical experiences with them. It could change the way people care and are cared for by just giving people that space. We have a new lady today and never, never touched the ocean drum before, never touched before the xylophone and she really enjoyed it. And <laughs> After when I went to her room, she said, thank you very much, you invite me to the group. You know, and uh, you know, <laughs> I feel it, you know, it was very nice. I feel confident now that our approach has an important part to play here in the United Kingdom in the care of people facing all sorts of challenges in life. So I guess the next step for us is to extend our network of care settings so that some of the benefits of music therapy can reach as many people as possible. Music makes people feel better. So if you can do that and you've, you've got that extra awareness with somebody, it can only do good. 
music is good, so bring on the music. 